guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily, if you are new here. I do cleaning and home organizational and decor videos, so if you like lifestyle mommy type videos, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and be notified when I post. I post twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays. And um, also head over to my Instagram account, I'll link that down below. I am very active over there and I do polls and uh, just want to get everybody's input on what I should be showing on my YouTube. So go ahead and um, say hey to me over there. I'd love to have you. Today's video, we are doing a decor video um, for my home office. It's a little office makeover. This is our old guest room. So as you can see, I'm taking apart the metal frame that used to have the mattress and box spring sitting on it. I actually don't want to use this anymore because it makes the bed sit too high anyways for the guest room. So I just dis uh, dismantled it completely <laughs> and we're just putting it outside. Um, eventually I'll get rid of it, but this is just my mom zone, um, where I can come and do my, uh, my voiceovers and record my vlog or, uh, topic videos if I need to, just a little safe space for just me. As a mom, you don't really get that a lot. You share pretty much everything with your children and your husband, so it was just nice to do something for myself that was 100% for me, and I didn't have to think about anybody else's opinions on what it looked like. <laughs> so if you want to see how this turns out, go ahead and keep on watching and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so the amount of times that I have reorganized this rug, um, I went ahead and just vacuumed it up first, but I do like move it around and reorganize it a billion times. Um, I actually end up not having it rolled out all the way because it does take up the entire room because this is a very tiny room. It's only an 8x10 rug, but it takes up the entire room. Um, we did get new carpet in here, so I kind of wanted to enjoy that. And my husband doesn't really understand why you put rugs over carpet. He's just like, I don't know, he just doesn't get it. Which is fine, whatever. So I rolled it up part of the way. I'm actually going to probably get a smaller rug for this area because I wanted it to just define where I have my desk sitting at. So it's like a desk space and then where, like anywhere off of the rug is like just sitting space or just I it just wanted it to like make like a designated zone and I feel like it didn't do that when the whole thing was rolled out so this is me just being very indecisive about how I wanted to lay this out and I actually um, moved it one more time after this but I didn't get that on video because it was like in the middle of the night when I was like actually I want it this way so oh goodness anybody else like that whiteboard that me and my husband taped off and made into like little calendar projects so we can keep track of bills. It has been sitting in a closet not being used at all for like eight months. So I'm taking off all of this electrical tape because we are amazing DIYers um, and I'm just going to use it as a just a whiteboard. Either write down um, you know content ideas, uh, make a plan for myself for the week, um, or just write cute quotes on it or something. I don't know. So this is just cleaning this guy off. Stuffed animal net hanging up, so 
I clearly didn't care this day, I just kind of chucked it. I dealt with it later, but this whole makeover process actually took me like three or four days just because I, you know, toddler life gets in the way and I just didn't really have like a bunch of time to do anything, so it took me a long time, piece by piece, but we got there. Love is going cold, you leaving out the door And say I don't know when I'll be home Like needles in my heart, it's tearing me apart Just trying to find a light in the dark I know that you're afraid, believe me when I say It's alright, we'll get by Our colors fade away, I hope it's just a phase I tell myself that we'll be okay so hold on to me, baby, hold on Put your hands into mine, wanna feel you close So hold on to me, baby, hold on Got our souls intertwined, I'm not letting go Okay, so if you know me, I am obsessed with Hobby Lobby So I actually got a mom vacation My husband let me go wander the aisles of Hobby Lobby by myself we're still not taking my son out anywhere in public. He is under two and you're not supposed to put masks on children under two, so he's just staying home. So I got some super cute finds there, and the lady was like, you know, this isn't all half off, right? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I know, but I still want it, so can you just like bring me up and stop judging me? Um, <laughs> I really didn't spend that much money. I think my budget was like a hundred bucks, and I think that's what I spent, so. It was just fun, it was good to get out, and do some me shopping. Okay, and I promised you guys a DIY if you follow me on Instagram. So we are doing a homemade macrame wall decor. So you just need three things, and it was under $10. So I'll go ahead and put in the description how to measure the lengths for your cords. And it's really just personal preference based on how you want your art to look. But you use two knots for this. There's this first knot, no idea what it's called, it's called like a large knot or something, I don't know. Um, just YouTube it if you really need to know, I don't know. Um, so there's that knot, and then for the second knot, you put both pieces behind the hoop, and then with the one string, you throw it over the outside and under over the inside and then through your loop that you just made as you can see my left hand is holding that just pop it through that loop and then tighten it it's super super easy you guys like i am not artistic at all <laughs> and this is like so easy to make so same thing outside inside and then through the loop so i go ahead and speed it up for the rest of this but it's just, that's it. It's that simple and it's under $10 to make this, so I don't have a pattern for you because I kind of just did what my heart felt, and I feel like that's the way that this kind of stuff is supposed to be. So, go ahead and get yourself some supplies, try this bad boy out, and just do your thing. It was super fun, and it turned out so cute. optional but I cut my um, ends into like a V pattern. I just use tape on tape on the wall to kind of have my template but that is that and I just totally winged it but I think it turned out adorable. So day two of this project, um, I hadn't showered that day and I was just not really feeling it. I did a ton of work, um, <laughs> but don't mind my appearance. I am a hot mess mom right now and that's, that's okay. Like we are allowed to not be put together all the time. That's fine. Anyways, I had to do a lot of cleaning up because my child has been in here just throwing stuff around, but here I'm just kind of putting my office junk in an organized mess. 
um, under the desk. I will eventually get an actual file cabinet. Um, I just haven't found one that I liked yet. There wasn't one that came with this desk, so I will eventually get there, I promise. So I'm just using it to organize my metal stamp project items. Um, this is something new that I picked up. I figure as a mom with um, a toddler staying home 24-7, I need something that's kind of for myself. So that's just what I'm organizing here. And it's actually super fun. I made a necklace for myself. And I eventually want to get into actually doing more with it. But look how cute it looks. So the trick to decorating any space is to decorate it, move it, decorate it again, move some more things around, switch it up, flip it around, drop it like a pot, you know what I mean. So yeah, there's really no, <laughs> there's no scientific um, anything to decorating. Just do what feels good and if it looks bad, just do it again. on the back of a couple photos and use frames that don't have glass in them. I get actually all my frames that don't have all the components to it are super cheap at like Hobby Lobby. They usually have a clearance section where like all their frames where the glass got broken. Um, but it's so fun. You can just take out the pictures and just swap them out super easily. And one more 
time for good measure, just go ahead and re <laughs> redecorate again because you weren't happy with it the first time or the second time or the third time. But I think I finally got a flow that I was comfortable with. And the last DIY is just a painted piece of wood. This is actually like leftover baseboard, so it's like MDF kind of, I think. Um, and a black sharpie, just write whatever quote you want on there, do fake calligraphy. There are videos teaching you how to do this, so um, it doesn't have to look good. It's personalized, that's the point. I just needed to hang up those super cute Hobby Lobby decorations. So if you use this tape trick, you just put a piece of um, masking tape or whatever from each piece that you need, where you need to have the holes at. So measure it on the artwork and then just peel it off, put it on the wall. Honestly, I did not level these. I couldn't find the leveler. Um, that's also what I get for not letting my husband help me. Um, he's much, very much a perfectionist when it comes to this kind of stuff, but he told me my drills downstairs and just to have at it. So. That is what I did. It turned out pretty cute though. I really don't think they're that crooked, if at all. I don't know. You do use this. This space is definitely perfect for me. I know it's not everybody's style, but that's totally fine. I have a very eclectic style. I like neutrals a lot, um, but I also just like a bunch of like little trinkets and fun like, textures and things. Um, I don't know. I feel like anytime you're decorating, like don't do it for the aesthetics of what somebody else is going to like. Do it for what you like, and it's going to be a place that you're going to enjoy hanging out in. So I'm actually really really happy with it hope you enjoyed thanks for watching